Well, when the colonists first arrived on Loka, there was an ample supply of something called scrap grass. And it was mainly used for fodder for the drums uh, and any other creatures that might eat grass. When gens came along, they realized that they were going to have to feed all of these non-humans. And the trueborn scientists decided to take the scrap grass and genetically engineer it into something they eventually called Kelgrain. First of all, Kelgrain is very cheap and very easy to grow since it's based on the native scrap grass. It has genetically engineered into it all the nutrition that a gen would need. It's got all the protein, all the vitamins, all the carbohydrates. It might not be particularly palatable for them, and a gen might wish that they could have other food, and some of them do go out in search of other types of, of uh, plants that, that might supplement that food. Sometimes they're lucky enough to get a little soy protein, but for the most part, their diet is Kelgrain. And if a trueborn were to be offered Kelgrain to eat, it would be terribly, terribly insulting. Because, of course, they think of the gens as being non-human, and Kelgrain is nothing more than fodder for a gen. Oh, I think a Three Musketeers, since that's my favorite candy bar. Plus, they're light and fluffy, and who wouldn't want to be light and fluffy? I don't like nuts, <laughs> not in my candy. <laughs>